Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to be spending the time inside the Webull app and setting up the charting and showing you uh, some of the Webull app's uh, functions. So without any further ado, let us go ahead and start it. So here's my phone. I have this app that I installed recently. This is how it looks like for me. So I'm going to maximize the, the, the light on there. And from here, which that I want us to do is just take a quick look at um, some of the features on here so you can go into to, to market and uh, definitely here they have a few things that are uh, of interest to you most active top loser host etf or if you want you can say hey explore and then you can see specific list uh the part that let's say if we go back here so yeah so explore you can you can you can see specific will it help for me yeah actually okay, that's fine so if we come on here uh you have the screener yeah high high to then yield high market value but what i like to do is create a screener yeah so you select your region you select your exchange so let's select all of the one that we have here nasdaq new york stock exchange american stock exchange sector I mean, if you want a specific sector that you are really interested in, sure, you, you can do that. But if you leave everything, everything is up to you. So you can then go by market cap, price. Okay, let, let's go by price because that's how typically for us we, we do our filtering, right? So price range in this case here, I can just go and say, okay, for me, maybe I want stock that are above $20 and let's say uh, all the way to maybe $500. That's where we make sure that's uh, NVIDIA and the like. Uh, in there maybe 550 i say done so we'll see here 200 a uh, percentage change yeah you can you can you can definitely build a screener to say okay which one have moved the most turnover volume okay volume is something that for us we like to do so we say okay uh greater than 1 million is usually what we do so in terms of volume so maybe i leave it like that i say done uh, financial indicator p2 ratio dividend it, whatever that 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 you 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 want in there technical indicators on here uh rsi macd golden cross uh rsi six hottest or whatever that you would like so let's say if you you, say you select that or let's say bullish and golfing is something that is it's uh is really nice okay others analyst rating margin available so here is saying that we have 46 stocks as of now so i can save it and i'm give it a name i'm gonna say uh wubu uh screener one screener one yeah one one whatever so i save it all right so then from now on every time that i come in this screener is going to be here it has five filters and here are the stock that i in there then i can solve them by pricing trilo is in there spotify is in there uh pdd is in there ahexi is in there and uh that, that that's not bad at all yeah so this is this is how you can go and build a screener on Webull app on the on the go on here uh, as a nice so in a nice way for you to 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 get to get going. Um, what else uh, in terms of app? So in terms of um, let's go to drawing apps. Um, so for that, for us on here, we are going to go to charting. So let, let's go ahead and uh, try to 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 do to do that on here. So I went to a different place that I wanted to go on here. So if I go back, let's say. I go to watch list for instance my watch list doesn't have that much but watch list this is how you create your watch list so here's a watch list on here telex watch list how do I add a symbol this is how I can add a symbol so let me add in neo okay and let me go and uh, so it, you see how it took me to chat i think because for me I, I click on it so let's let's add a stock that uh, we traded today by the way if you were with us today in our system in our discord room we traded the da all right so this get get me the opportunity here on here i want to show you how i set up this chart yeah so let's do this if, if i can uh so what i need to do i need to turn on my phone in the other direction so hopefully uh, am i in the right direction let's do this okay so i guess i need to turn it again okay oh boy 
So how many times still it? All the way to the right side. Perfect. Okay, fantastic. This is where I want us to spend the time in this mobile um, app uh, functions or feature. I want to take the time to set up this chart, yeah, because it looks all nice and everything, but this is at least for all you, you want to mimic exactly the chart that you, let's say you have from other platforms. So for me, you know, I use TradingView. So the first thing that you're going to do, let me actually remove this guy from here. Well, we can put that guy there on top. Doesn't matter. Um, is this a distraction? I'm not so sure. Okay. So we want to do this. Uh, let me see. Do, do they have a button here for them to make? Oh, this is even better. Yes. I like it. I like it. All right. Fantastic. So now we are in full screen. Yeah, you see, I just used uh, uh, that for my screen on there. So we're in inside. This is the inside of uh, of Webull, and I'm I'm going full full screen on here. So the first thing that we want to go is here. See here, the 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 the, 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 the square square and um, it's it's a colon here. So again, let's do that again. So I click on it, and then settings. Yeah. So unfortunately, settings you see revert back onto here, but we have advanced charts. I'm just going to go quickly and then I, I will flip the screen again. So advanced charts, you want to select advanced charting. Um, chart high standard, standard uh, meaning the, 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 this is this is the, 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 the size of your chart. So right now I have selected standard. And then again, let's move this guy out of here. Wow. All right. So if you can go medium, nope, by just sliding it, it looks a little bit better. And high if you want. It to, to, to be like this. So maybe high, um, if you want. Okay. So that's the chart high. So for me, I went here and say I excluded, I don't want some the extended hours on here. So, uh, typically, uh, sub charts, follow full screen charts. Yes. Indicator on main chart. Yes. We want that as a yes. You can just toggle it back and forth, but I want that as a yes. Corporate action. Yeah. So corporate action. What type of corporate action? Dividend split earnings. They, you, the, you, are, you are saying here that you want to see them there. So G is for dividend, split is for S is for uh, splits, and earnings is indicated by E. You can definitely turn them off. So for, for instance, I can say, okay, splits are removing, dividend I'm removing, but the earnings, I want to know the earning date. But in any case, you see, you see, you see the drill uh, of, of the, uh, advanced quotes. NASDAQ best bid and bid offer. This is something that NASDAQ, um, Webull is giving you. Level to NASDAQ. Best speed, this they're giving you for free. So the following switches are used to control the display of advanced quotes in landscape mode. All right. So we want that. Uh, the candle style. Yeah. The candle style is something that I had to set up, right? Because originally you can have this. These are hollow candles or you can have solid candles. So for me, I select, uh, selected, uh, whole, uh, candles on the position and open orders. Yeah. If you want to display them in, on your screen, even your cost basis. This is, this is nice, guys. This, this is really nice existing open orders buy sell button yes you can click just click click on the chart and then it will indicate you buy by offer give you an, um, the possibility to buy or sell um what else on here uh time zone okay so time zone um i am in pacific time zone so it's up to you where where you are so i haven't even set this up before so now i'm setting it up but the time zone we are trading in it's um the the new york stock exchange right so then eastern time if you want to just your brain i'm used to the convey it's just three hours ahead so for me that's there uh very quickly on here so then okay so we are good so here this is how you can change the timeline 15 minutes interval and then i want to flip the phone back hopefully okay fantastic i'm in full screen mode uh but now let's go ahead and actually show you the um, the indicators how, how we go about them so after we finish settings on 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 here Oh, I'm going to be coming back to to, to to a button here. This this replay thing is fantastic. Seriously, we, a trading view has it, but for me, this is something that I really, 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 really like a great deal. So I'll click here for indicators. Fibonacci retracement, for instance, they can it can do it uh, automatically for for you. We're gonna do that short shortly on here. But uh, where was this? This is where I wanted to click. Yeah. This is, this is so the one that I highlighted is telling me that I have the EMA. So I use EMA instead of moving average. So you just click on it to, 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 to show it as available. When you want to add an indicator, you click on the add on here. You have up to 50 of them. And here, so right now for me, my Bollinger band, let's go ahead and show you how my setting are. 
20. That's the length. How do I modify that? By just sliding this, this, this thing here. Very nice. So 20 period is my Bollinger. Uh, the, the upper and on my colors are the width is my standard deviation. So I leave it at two always. So my median, so the middle of that, I chose the color on here. So I'm choosing white. I mean, you can choose what for me, that's just too much, which that I'm, my eyes are used to. I say, okay. Uh, the upper, I always use red. So whatever red that you want, you choose that, you say, okay. And the lower Bollinger, I use a type of a purple, whatever. Uh, so the only thing on here is that they don't let me choose the styling and then they give you an explanation of what the Bollinger band is. I'm really, really impressed by this. EMA, same thing very quickly on here. So I use the 8 and the 20 and you can add others. Yeah, you can add others if you want and then just slide, use the slider, let's say the 50. Hi. Okay. So for me, actually, this is what I did because that nonsense slider, <laughs> I just tap it in there. Yeah. So, or then if you want to delete something, you just exit out on here. Okay. And now choosing the color, you just click on it. So for me, it's yellow for the exponential moving average eight. So which one is the yellowest of the yellow? So up to you. Uh, the exponential moving average 20 for us is usually green. So you pick a green color here. And, uh, well, now I have two EMS 20. Why is that? Oh, yeah, because of this. So let me remove this one here. All right. So I only have two. Fantastic. And then if you want to reset your set, then all of this feature. Oh, VWAP. VWAP is here, my friend. So volume weighted average price. You, you, it's by now you have been with us. You, you, you know what we're we talking about. It's orange. And the, that's when not a mystery, right? So it's just, do you don't have any, uh, parameters to input in there so these are them so then volume it's already set up you can select how many how many days uh, volume five days 10 days 14 days it's just the average volume that uh, that they are, they are providing you in there and then you have all other indicators support and resistance on here envelope fibonacci level we're gonna do a fibonacci trace on, on here so this is how you get this and then let's maximize it here so you just go like this. So I'm just touching my screen on there to show you, to show you on there. So, and here at the bottom, obviously, uh, you see, I can select three months. All right. So let's me select one year and one day. So here is the frequency, right? So it's so meaning over one year. Okay. Let's, <laughs> that's just the phone, have a phone. We should have put it on, do not disturb. So that's uh, that, that there. And let, let's try Fibonacci. So we say that on here, uh, no, it's not there, it's not, not that one. So this one, Fibonacci retracement, yeah? So all I have to do, as you know, with Fibonacci, I have to click somewhere and extend, yeah? It's not as fancy as, uh, let's say, what's the one on trading view, but you, you get the idea. You, you can do that here as, as well with, with your label, all right? Last but not least, let, let's go on here and my favorites, this is the replay button. So what speed can they give you? 60 times, 120 times. So let's go 120 times because it's gonna play the one third or you can just fast forward to see. My only thing with this is that, all, I mean, I don't know if it's me, instead of showing me line, I would have preferred the candles. Yeah, and also I would like to see the, um, the my indicators on there, the, the, the exponential moving average, uh, the, the, the Bollinger band as well to see the reaction to it. So I'm not sure if it's me through my settings, but this is how you go about doing a replay on there. Just, I mean, that, that's, is doing it for the previous day. You can go to any other day, um, on, on, on there. So that, that replay button is really nice. You know how we are a big fan of it. So to, to exit out of there, you just do like this. So, oh yeah, we didn't talk about the MACD, but definitely it's one of the indicators that you can set up just like the other one. All right, folks. Well, I hope uh, that uh, you enjoy this. This is our review of uh, the Weibo trading app. Uh, we we'll show you some of the features and uh, the charting. We will be bringing you further features as uh, we familiarize yourself with this tool. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.